Good morning, this is Danka Metcalf with TradeOutLoud.com. Welcome to the pre-market game plan for major future indices, gold and oil. Uh, today is September 22nd, 2016. It is Thursday and it is 9 a.m. Eastern Time. Uh, right in front of us, we have an hourly chart of YM. YM had a very nice rally post-FOMC, taking out the prior highs at 18,170, uh, moving higher then pulling back, finding support at 18200 level, from which it bounced, broke out at 18 to 20. Um, right now we're trading at 18 uh, 300 area. We touched, we just touched upon this area. We're looking very bullish. Uh, we are looking a little bit extended, and from the daily chart, this area right here, 18300, uh, has a lot of resistance from a prior low from September 1st. Uh, we're expecting a pullback, so we should expect a pullback right into this area. We had an extreme rally, so uh, a pullback uh, would be expected all the way to 18 to 50. Uh, we're going to be looking for this pullback. However, if we're going to get a tight consolidation at this price level of 18,300, we can expect another move higher, and the next resistance area is going to be at 18,390. Uh, also, expect follow through into 18,400. We're looking very bullish. Uh, since the breakout yesterday, we're looking for uh, a target for this week of 18,500. Any pullback you have on any um, time frame, such as the two minute or the five minute chart that you may be trading, is viable. So we're looking in a very bullish market environment right now. Uh, once again, we are hitting a resistance level right here. Uh, so this is the secondary resistance level that uh, we are um, challenged with. And if we break above this, like I said, we have room to go higher. No shorts at this time. Uh, the next one is ES, and this is the E-mini S&P 500. Uh, we had the same post FOMC rally. We pulled back. We stabilized at 21.53. We broke out again uh, at 3 a.m. Uh, London session, uh, 21.56. We rallied higher. Uh, we made a high here at 2166, and we're still trying to digest the prior resistance area from the daily chart. And the daily chart has a lot of resistance at 2168, so this is going to be the area. If we're going to encounter some kind of a pause into uh, this uh, ES, into these, this uh, E-mini, uh, we should expect it at 2168, 21, uh, 2170. So if we're going to get a pullback at that area, uh, the pullback can be all the way into 2160 area. If we're not going to get a pullback and we're going to consolidate bullishly at this level, we have room to continue higher all the way to 2180, uh, 2185 and 2190. Any pullback will be viable. Uh, NQ. Um, NQ was the strongest amongst all indices, and uh, uh, it is making new all-time highs. 48.54 um, was yesterday's uh, high post FOMC, and we have a new high right here at 41.76. Just uh, made it just now. Uh, so we're looking very bullish. If a pullback should occur, look for 48.60 area. Uh, we are into the clear uh, with uh, NQ. The next target that we have is going to be 4,900 uh, in uh, NQ, and uh, the next projected targets are going to be uh, 49.15. So uh, 49.15, that's going to be the next target. So again, like with YM and ES, expect a pullback at this price level. Like I said, if it's going to pull back to 48 uh, 60, but if not, it looks like a really strong consolidation here. We're going to see how the New York session uh, opens, and if there's going to be some profit taking, there might be some profit taking here at about, I would say, close to 11 o'clock. Around 11 o'clock, you can expect this. Um, let's take a look at GC. GC as well participated with the market post FOMC had a really nice run up and again this had uh, had an initial run up uh, post uh, BOJ announcement continued higher moved higher beautifully uh, in extended hours in the Asian session came back uh, towards um, 
towards the London session and again picked up 6 a.m. Uh, making a high right here at uh, 13.42. We're looking bullish and uh, the next, so far 1340 is again on the daily chart is somewhat of resistance from prior lows back in August. Uh, if we digest this area bullishly, look for further continuation into all the way into 1360. So another 20 points higher. So it looks very, very good. Uh, CL, one of my favorite trades, and I am swing in CL long. Um, the trade was also posted on uh, Twitter at the time, even before I took the trade. Um, really amazing run up. Um, continuation yesterday so um, uh, following BOJ announcement rallied consolidated New York session took it higher um, and we had oil numbers uh, and actually here uh, uh, actually here we did have this initial pop here uh, we uh, at four o'clock uh, and 4:30 uh, into 4 o'clock and 4:30 uh, we did have uh, we did have the inventory numbers consolidated and then we had oil numbers that came in took it higher another consolidation and higher very very bullish final target is going to be forty seven dollars and fifty cents and forty eight dollars we're going to look for the next stall pause in CL at around this area so any pullback is viable so so far if we're, you're going to get a pullback into forty six dollar area uh, this should be another buy area. Other than that, it has a little bit of resistance right here at $46.50. Watch the two-minute chart. We, we might get a small pullback right into this area. This was all for today. Thank you for joining. I'll see you tomorrow morning, uh, Friday, uh, for a last trading day for, uh, for the week. I wish you all have a very profitable trading day.